let me show you how to set this up. Here's my traditional color wheel. Now, note this will work just fine with a, a, uh, a traditional color system, a color wheel associated with a additive color system or a subtractive color system. So let's go ahead and set it up. I'm going to take my shape tool. I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'm going to create a square. And you see how that little intersects? See that little line right there? I got my smart guides on, so I know it's a perfect square when I see that little line crossing uh, diagonally through the square. All right, now that square right now has a red fill and a gray stroke. I want to give that no fill and a black stroke for visibility's sake. At this point, what I want to do is I want to create uh, five steps in my tints, shades, and tones. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take this. Uh, square, I'm going to duplicate it twice. One column for tints, one column for shades, one column for tones. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll just go ahead and duplicate that. I'm holding my option on my shift key down. To create a second square. I'm going to command D to do the same thing. At this point, what I'm going to do is take those three rows, come over here, hold my option key down, drag down holding my shift key. There's my second row. There's my third, fourth, fifth row. And I command D just to duplicate that. Now what I want to do is, is let's do a complementary uh, uh, color harmony here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this whole thing. I'm going to hold my option key down. I'm going to drag it over, hold my shift key, con constrain the, uh, uh, the horizontal placement. OK, so there's my two setups here. So let's say I'm going to do a, a complementary uh, using orange and blue. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to set up my, let's go tints, tones, and shades, okay? Tints progress to, it's your parent color progressing to white, tones progressing to a, a value of gray, and shades progressing to, to black. So we'll take white. Let me just come over here. There's my tools. I'm going to grab white. I'm going to turn that into my foreground color with no stroke color. Let's we'll come over here and we'll select that white. We'll take that and we'll drag it right down there. We'll also drag it right down here. Now we'll now now we'll go tints, tones. We'll go to gray, a value of gray. So let's grab that value of gray right there. Drag it right to that box and to that box as well. Okay, then black <coughs> uh, shades are uh, progressing to black. So let's go ahead and select black. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll place that there. We'll place that here. Now, remember I said we're going to do uh, um, a, uh, a complementary color system using a uh, color uh, harmony using orange to blue. Okay, so let's select the orange first of all. Click off the artwork. Let's go over here and select that orange. We're going to place that orange in these first three boxes of the first row. Then we'll take the orange complement, take that, and we'll place those over here. Now, note these are right off the color wheel, so uh, there's no there's no manipulating the values here. Okay, at this point, we're set up to use the blend tool to create tints, shades, and tones for both colors in a complementary color system. Now, note if for a triadic color, a tetradic color system, you, you know, for a, a triadic color system uses three, so you would just create another set of boxes. Tetradic uses four colors, so you would use a, a, a four sets of these boxes. Okay, so the first row we said we're going to create the tints, right? So all we have to do now is we have the first color and the last color and three steps between. So if I go to my blend tool, I double click that, and we're going to say specified steps here, okay? In the blending options, we're not going to say smooth, we're going to say specified steps, and we're going to have three, one, two, three, okay? I'm going to say okay. Now I'm set up, okay? My parent color, uh, my tints are progressing to white. All I have to do is click here and here, okay? Now I'm gonna click off the artwork. Now for my tones, the parent color progressing to gray. So let's go ahead and grab my blend tool. See, isn't this amazing? And then my uh, shades are parent color to black. Grab my blend tool. All right, there are my tints, uh, tones, and shades associated with the first color in the complementary system. Now all I have to do is do the same thing. As long as the, the parent color and the end color are, are, are defined, tints, click off the artwork, tones, click off the artwork, 
and shades. Okay, there you have it. There's a wonderful way to set up your color palettes using tints, tones, and shades for any uh, color system, color harmony you wish to create. It's probably, as I said, you can't, this is probably the most or one of the most utilitarian and useful ways to use the blend tool in all of Illustrator. Thank you.